There's a grandpa I want you to take care of. Hmm, who could that be? It's so itchy. Uh, and you're not gonna mention that my friend is gone? Okay, there we go. Sachi-chan can't be in charge of him anymore, so you can go in her stead? Sure thing, but what happened to Sachi-san? You seem very antagonistic right now, just sending me right over there, not knowing what happened to Sachi-san. Oh, don't worry. It's probably about a relationship. She does this time to time. She isn't getting younger, you know. <laughs> uh-huh. Biological clock. Including myself, that is. Ha ha. Hmm. Anyhow, so it she needs you. Um, do you think I'll be fine? Yeah, because we were quite new at the job. I've never been to a patient's house by myself. Well, we're short on people right now. I know it's hard, but we have to do our best and go with what we have. I left his information on your desk. All right, I'll do my best. Slowly turning head to monitor. You still seem a bit antagonistic there. I don't know if I should trust you. On my desk, you mean my... Uh, where I slept, basically. <laughs> no. Would be weird. I know this is like a break room and all, but you never know. <laughs> Perhaps in here then. Computer lab. No? Oh, yes. Info about Soichi. Koga Soichi, age 83. Male. Weighs 56 kilograms. A lightweight. Height 170 centimeters. Low blood sugar. Feed flan on two meals a day. Relaxes when bathing. Should bath every day. Strong dislike for getting out of home. Ask for reasons. Ask for reasons? As a dig into why he doesn't want to get out of home? Why? <laughs> He's gonna need even more bathing done. I, why would we make him uncomfortable? If we don't have to. Very forgetful as of late. Watch for symptoms of dementia. Yeah, he wasn't very talkative now, was he? Extra comments. Occasional discomfort. Signs of frustration and pain. Prescribe opiates if necessary. Oh, we can do that? But we're brand new. I thought a doctor had to do this, this sort of thing. Well, maybe it differs from country to country. Very well done. We are on it. Go to Suichis. He needs you. Try not to fall asleep in the break room, alright? No staying over work hours. <laughs> we don't do that kind of stuff here. Sorry. I won't do it again. Oh, but we're hardworking. We're doing our best. But how did you know? How I was found and left in a tunnel in the middle of a forest when she was born. You are very ominous. I'm currently not taking a liking to you. I'm not ready yet. Um, but we grabbed the info. What else do we need? Oh, oh, wait, our bag, our bag. Um, because the first one grab their bag. So where is our bag? Here, it's it's on the desk, my backpack. It looked like it was part of the chair. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Even though I'm skeptical of you. It's not so dark right now. Lighting does feel a little bit like we're in hell. <laughs> In a way, it feels like it's nighttime and still there's light. This can't be all the moon's doing, can it? Very bright moon. Itoiki. Sabram. Oh god, that spooked me. 
Hello? Greetings, monk. You have a good soul. <laughs> uh, thank you, I suppose. Um, you really do. I can feel it from years of being a monk. Well, I haven't done much in life yet. It does not matter. I see that you follow the way. Visit our temple sometime. What a level of conscience you have. You should feel at home. Okay, I'll, I'll think about it. Please do. Well, that, that's a kind of invitation. Perhaps it's even going to give me good luck because I feel there's quite some spiritual, dangerous things going on where I'm headed. Where is your temple? Is it in here? I'm not allowed to cross here, you see. Invisible wall syndrome. Perhaps it's further down that way. And let's head up. It might be that the other girl is in danger. I don't think she ever left. But she's probably subdued. If that is the case. So this is it. What is roaming in the darkness on the second floor? I wonder. It's very dark. So it is on. Anyone home? Looks like it's open. The tea kettle. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I was wondering, <laughs> is that a tortured mouse? <laughs> oh, that is quite... Yeah. Hmm. Now we can hear the creepy wind again. Hmm? Rusted tin box. Seems like a key won't fit from the rust. Hmm. So we have to find a key and some soap. It won't open. There's a plank that's stuck. Why and how and... <laughs> Soichi-san? Flashlight. So it is on. Huh? Okay, the shadow just looked like something leaning out to look at me. <laughs> I can have a very wild imagination. Probably shouldn't go up there, but I need to have a look. I need to see what's going on and be a bit more cunning when it comes to running away, if something is still there. Shh. God, I thought I saw something through there. Ooh, it's very, very stuck. That's odd. That is very odd indeed. Okay, what do we have here? A nice view for one? Very odd crinkling. Hmm. More of those weird cheerful cards. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, oh, oh. I'm running into doors, so. There's something about growing in partial darkness. What oh, is a bed up here? Bed stuff. Sleeping stuff. But I don't seem to be able to... 
do much up here for now. This place feels like a maze. This seems to be a dedicated, well, living room with the television set. Uh, I can speak a bit louder now, now that I'm not up there with the creepy, creepy abduction area. The grandfather doesn't like leaving. Oh god, god! Doesn't like leaving the house. I was about to say, so he must be in the house somewhere. Hi. I am Naomi. Hello, Soichi san. How are you? I'm Naomi. <laughs> Sachi has been very busy lately. I'll be taking care of you from now on. Meanwhile, in silence, he knows what's happened to Tachi, but can't speak out of fear. It's very similar to the Grudge uh, Lady uh, uh, movie, I think. What on earth? The TV is very loud. Very, very loud. But I guess you have bad hearing, so that makes up for it. Oh god, you can hear it through all the house. <laughs> oh Jesus. Ow, my ears, ow. Ow. Turn it off, yes. Oh, that loud thing. Hmm? Paper clip just flew into the window. What on earth? It's... We can't have that on the outside. We have to clean that thing. That's gonna stain like mad. And also, I like crows. Crows are one of the most intelligent creatures on the earth. You can't tell me that just happened. Must have been a disturbance in the force. Disturbance. Spiritual disturbance. Why are we not using our flashlight? The flashlight will be very comforting right now. I oh you're big. Are you a raven? You might be a raven. Paperclip. We're just gonna take the paperclip? May your death have been swift. Rest in peace. Odd. Oh, the paperclip might help with the lock. Possibly. With all the rust. The excessive rust. Not that this should be a point of interest, but... Pick the lock. Okay, pick it even. <laughs> And a very, a very, very old lock, in other words. A shed key. Hmm. Looks like there's a crate on the inside. <laughs> uh, Soichi-san, I will be heading outside briefly. I want to have a look in the shed. I hope that's okay with you. Now, where is his shed? Probably on the far outer side. Oh! What? A ladder? Why? Maybe I can find a way to take it down? Yeah, let's go to the shed first. It's weird. Unless this is the shed, but... <laughs> Odd. 
Oh, it's a nice lantern. Lit even. What's here? There's a point of interest here for whatever reason. Windows open. I can see that a plank is blocking the bathroom door. So this is on the outside of the bathroom. I need to find something that can budge it down. And it's too high for me. So I need something to step on as well. Ah, so that... Therefore, that's one reason to go into the shed. <laughs> if we can find it. Oh, I love all these lanterns here. It's so dark though. Oh, here's a shed. Is this your shed? This must be your shed. Wouldn't be someone else's shed in your yard. Why is the entrance here? No, it's not here. It just looked like it because of the point of interest. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> I'm walking in pitch darkness because my character refuses to bring up the flashlight. I see a silhouette in front of me. <sighs> Unlock shed door. The smallest of things will make me so spooked. Who? He's over here pretty. I can see well in the dark. Yeah, bring out your flashlight. <laughs> Where is there a... I hear... Something that sounds like steps. How do I... How do I flashlight? I picked up a flashlight and then I put it away again. I can't see well in the dark. I can't pick this up. It's right, in, it's right there. It looks like a weird scythe-like thing. If I can see it, then you can too. I didn't close this. Did I? Oh. Flashlight suddenly appeared. Hitting my scroll. My scroll wheel. Turn on the flashlight. Hmm. Well, good enough for us. Can't see well in the dark. Well, no excuse now. Pick up the tool, yes please. This will grant us access through the window. We still need something that resembles a little step ladder or something. No, first things first. The vehicle. No wheels. Ah. Uh, right. Well, we can step on the, this. I thought just take it down because why would this be over there in the first place? Is someone trying to get access to this property? But we can use this to get in. Let's see. There we go. Use the sky like thing. Ladder. Well, we are currently unable to place the, the ladder here, so the only thing I can do is just have a look inside. Nothing in the mailbox. Soichi san, do you have a crowbar in your home? Let's head up this spooky stairway again. Now it says question mark. Okay. Take a peek. Yes. Not sure if this is a, a good thing. Was that? That's a face. That's a face. Ooh. That's a ghostly face. Take another peek. B 
Be brave. Take another peek. Maybe it's not a face. It looked a little bit like an elongated ghost face. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah, okay. That's all the bravery in me. It's all the bravery for now. I need to refuel my brave gauge. Back down we go. Sometimes things look like blood, but it's just a VHS filter. Nostalgia filter. a ladder mark. Can I place my ladder there? I guess because the ladder used to stand there. Not that they actively drew a mark for it. Climb up. I still feel this whole, oh, this whole experience is a bit inspired by the grudge. Hey, Dad! Fucking hell! A lot of weird tapping noises and so as the door closed. Okay, let's refuel our brave coach and have a look. I have to get to the bottom of this, or to the top of it, depending on how you see it. Does a Jew on live here? Oh, a little stool, a step ladder thing. Good. That's what. Oh, no, no, no. Take up the flashlight so you can carry more things at once. Okay, that's all we. All we need. Ooh. Okay, it's just a dust particle. That spooked me a bit. Attic door. Not feeling safe up there at all. We used to have an attic just like this in the old house. Off we go. We're supposed to take care of Soichi, but he's, he's just sort of taking care of himself. <laughs> just going all over the place. And as we know that he really does not like to leave the house, then he should not be able to jump scare us out here. He seems to be a fan of jump scaring people. But it's ironic as well. Everyone else wants to stay away from the house, even the family members that usually seem to live here. There we go. Windows open. Uh huh. Can we use this tool? Okay, good. Good. Don't fall down now. Oh! So it is docile. He doesn't move on his own. It looked similar to the apparition I saw earlier. I, I want to believe it's the daughter that came home. But... Or so itchy. Where did they go? What's in that bathroom that I'm not allowed to see? Where did they? Is she bringing him up to the second floor? I sure hope that's a box out there. I'm leaving the door open in case the night run for it because I'm not feeling very sharp about this place now. 
Mm -hmm. Just left the tool hanging there. <laughs> ah, dirty water. Sounds like they went upstairs indeed with all the creaking and all. I seem unable to interact with anything. Maybe this was just for a peace of mind. Have this accessible. I mean, he likes to bathe. He likes, likes to bathe. We should probably flush this though. I think he's gonna need a few baits after this spiritual tour. So Ichi, I need you to make a sign. Give me a sign. Oh. Is he outside? So Ichi? He's outside? He's right outside where he was staring the other day. The other character, of course. But how did he get past me? I went in just as they went out. He must have made the entrance before me and taken the other route around. So itchy. What are you doing out here? You should be inside. So itchy. Let's get you inside, huh? Looks like your hands are trembling a bit. Poor fellow. Wait here. That's weird knocking. Yes, I don't think the spirit likes that he baits and relaxes. Truck here, hello? I can't just leave now. Yeah, but... It's just cat food delivery. Did it put something in here? Delivered package. Hmm. Well, you drove away fast. But you don't have cats. This wasn't in your description, so edgy. Sorry to bother you. I received a package just now. I'm going to leave it on the kitchen table, okay? Doesn't say much, yeah. Kitchen table, uh, I saw something peering out. I'm seeing things, this place is making me see things. Place package. Uh, there we go. I have to select it first. Excuse me. He's my customer, you know. He's my patient. Not yours. Return to the spirit realm. Take him to bed? Yes. How was the nice relaxing bath, huh? Was it as nice and relaxing as I... Sounds like a st spirit snoring. Okay, you take care now. I'm gonna go. I suppose my job here is done. What? What do you want? Oh! There was a spirit standing in a room. 